hello viewers in this video i am going to continue the brief outline of the social history of england uh, in my last video social history of england part 1 i stopped with the king richard first in this video i am going to proceed the next king king john yes king john he was the brother of richard first the period of king john was 1199 to 1260 his period was a period of misrule at last the chief barons decided to place the grievances of the country before the king as a result the king signed the document called magna carta or the great charter because of its length it is called so everyone benefited by the great charter as a matter of fact this famous document marked the beginning of the english constitution the next king was henry iii his period was 1216 to 1272 he was the eldest son of king john and he was a pious man religious man he is marked for three important events important things they are the first one is he built many churches the most important of them being the westminster abbey which now stands in the place of the one built by edward the confessor which we have seen already the second thing is the advent of the dominican monks and the franciscan friars to england the dominicans wore black cloths black cloth and they were called the black friars since the franciscans wore gray cloths gray cloths they cloth they were called the gray friars cloth means cloth and the third event is summoning of the first parliament in england in 1265 by the king's brother in law simon de montfort this is the first parliament in england and it has been called the first house of commons and montfort has been named the creator of the first house of commons Okay, the next king was Edward I. He was the son of Henry the Third, and his period was thousand two hundred and seventy two to thousand three hundred and seven. And Edward I, he conquered Wales, and in thousand two hundred and eighty three, made his son Prince of Wales. Thereafter, it became the custom for the king's eldest son to be called. prince of wales edward made not less than 3 attempts to become the king of scotland also but he failed and robert bruce was chosen as the king and a more most important thing which edward did was the summoning of the model parliament in 1295 the first one we saw was the first parliament and it is model parliament and it consists it is consisting of house of lords and house of commons since this parliament was a model for the subsequent ones it is generally referred to as model parliament the next king was Edward the second he was the son of Edward first his period was 1307 to 1327 he made uh, one more effort to conquer scotland but at last the english were forced to recognize robert bruce as king of scotland 
because the Scots become successful. In spite of these agreements, there was frequent fighting between the two countries for the next 200 years and more. The next king was Edward III. His period was 1327 to 1377. The chief event of his period was the beginning of the great Hundred Years' War between England and France. Though there was no continuous war between the two countries, both were unfriendly to each other most of the time. Okay. Let me stop here. And in my next video, I am going to start Hundred Years' War. Thank you. Love literature.